Jade over Nadcat is defending 29 off the last over, and his team, the Sunrisers, they win by two runs, but I think it's fair to say that he's thinking, lads, any danger of stopping the ball from hitting the ground? You're watching the morning after IPL. The Shortman Gill, license to three, 007. Okay! <laughs> Has it been an IPL so far of uh, Shashank Singh's, Ashutosh Sharma's, and the mm. Tesh Kumar Reddy's yeah. so far this IPL? I mean, Kohli is literally the orange cap holder, but it feels like it's been a, an IPL of, uh, of up and comers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th- and last night, no different, like a, a rollicking mid table fixture. Young Indian talent, a seasoned Indian talent, mistaken identity Indian talent, uh, dropped catches, coming smiling. Johnny Bear so struggling. Like, mm. I went to bed satisfied. <laughs> As is all those using Big Basket now yes. who are supporting the morning after IPL. Go on, Charlie. Now delivering in 10 minutes. <laughs> That's going to be one for the trivia. Like, who are the other two people in that? <laughs> in well, there two other people. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the scores uh, from last night. Sunrises against Punjab. Yeah. Uh, Sunrises batted first. They made 182. Thanks in the Tish Reddy, 64. And Samad at the end, they're making mm. 25. Uh, Ashdeep Singh was four for 29. He, had, he, was, he was sensational. The Punjab Kings, they fell two runs short in the end. They needed 39 off the last two overs, 29 off the last over. Uh, Shashan. Hank Singh, again, he was fantastic. 46, not out. And Ashutosh Shama, 33, not out in the end. But they just fell short despite uh, the Sunrisers' best efforts in the field, dropping three catches in the last over. So that's what's happened in the game. Uh, shall we walk through it? Let's walk through step it. Step by uh, step, step ana- by, analytical. Yeah, yeah, look, Sunrisers batted first. I want to start with uh, Natish Reddy. And let's just build up to that as well. I've called it Are You Ready? A little wordplay there. But uh, we, uh, Hedy, Travis said, Hedy swung for the rafters. And he started okay. Uh, Shikha takes a great catch to remove him. That's Arshdeep's first wicket. Uh, then Arshdeep gets Markram. Genuine Nick. Got a bit about him, Arshdeep. I've always liked it. I've always liked the vibe. I've always liked the, the peacock, the chest, the angularity of it, the way, the, the, the stiffness of the, uh, of, of the way the back straightens. Do, 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 you, do you feel me? I, I think, um, because when, when, he, when he first came into the Indian setup, he was like, he was a death bowling specialist. But now yeah. I feel like he's got a little string to the bow. Yeah. It's an extra string to the bow. Not 20, just a little he's one. He's only 24. Uh, yeah. no, that's, that's everyone these yeah. days, isn't it? 24 is about right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We can reverse those numbers. But anyway. Tell her for a reason. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yeah, slow start to the tournament for Arshdeep, but he's roaring to life here. Ends up with four for 29, as you say. There's a point uh, as well uh, before Natish Reddy really gets going where Tripathi is caught behind. And uh, I don't know for people who watched it on TV, but like, like nobody on the field, apart from I think Sam Curran, seemed to hear this nick. But on TV, it was like, it, 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 was, it was 1930s, <laughs> like Ash's uh, radio commentary. Like it, it, it was genuinely like, loud to Brabant. Four. Yeah. <laughs> um, I heard it. Uh, anyway, I wanted Hedy. I got ready. Uh, 64 runs. He'd only played, um, so he's, he's 20, uh, 20, 20 years old, I think. Yeah, 20. Uh, ends up with 64. He gets them over the line to 182. He yep. only played eight T20 fixtures yep. uh, before last night. Only two IPL matches. A good back. Again, when when a new player comes on the scene, what's the backstory? Dad quits his job a few years ago to help shape his career. Mm-hmm. Um, he was named the best under-16 cricketer by the BCCI a few years ago at the annual re- awards. And uh, apparently at those awards, he had a chance to meet uh, Virat, but uh, bodyguards got in the way. Mm. Um, but I know what I know what you're all thinking. You're like that, that, Vera. That's nice, mm. but what's the Tala connection? Mm-hmm. There is a Tala connection. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, uh, cue this picture. Nitish Reddy was a CSK net bowler in 2021. He was a net bowler, net bowler, and net, he's just net. made 64 of 37 in this game. Indeed, I got to say, Pez. Now delivering <laughs> in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a jump scare. It's such a jump scare at this point. It's a nice lick though with the guitar. It is, an, like it is a nice lick. And yeah. a nice lick for Lockie Ferguson there at the back, uh, uh, who nice. I had no idea he plays for RCB. Anyway, that says more about him than me. Um, at, at this point, if you don't have like a heartwarming backstory of some sort yeah. of hardship or yeah. someone sacrificing above and beyond, you have got absolutely fucking no chance of being anywhere near an IPL setup or mm. anywhere near an Indian team, an Indian 19 team, yeah. uh, a net bowling team, mm. um, any sort of Tala connections at all. Like if, if you've come from stability and people um, giving you, uh, you know, a, a, Sa- a safe uh, and encouraging environment. That's right. 
then at best you might play one Randy Trophy game, but unlikely even then. You like you need to go through some serious hardship. Well, let's, be, let's be clear. It always seems in the backstory that there's a number of very very encouraging people. That that part is true. Yes. The part that like like this is the same with like uh, Shashank and Ashutosh as well. I think mm-hmm. Shashank uh, was talking about how important it was for him, like coming through in Mumbai, to um, spend a lot of time on trains, going out to different games, yep. just on the railways, knocking around there. And then uh, Ashutosh played for railways. So um, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Tell her for a reason. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know but, what to say but, next. But, I've been th- but I've been, I'm even thinking about like Mo Salah when he was growing up in Egypt and he had to travel like eight hours to his football training, like, you know, like a couple of times a week. And it's yeah. like, again, like that kind of like, I live too close to the ground. That, that was the that thing. Was that, that was the thing I never. Pat Cummins went to a private school. He did get his finger chopped off, though, in the doorway from his sister. See? Hardship. So, once again, hardship. Yeah. And it actually helps him with the wobble scene. <laughs> Seriously. I actually feel really sorry for these young um, Indian, like, d- dynamic Indian batters with their, like, lighting up the IPL with their exploits, knowing that they are not going to get a shot in the top order because that top order set. Yeah, we are. Indian side. Yeah. And hasn't won a World Cup together. But, yeah. um, anyway, um, that, look, uh, Sunrise gets 182. Okay, yeah. uh, it's pretty good. They're away from home. Uh, I want to just quickly remark on something that happened in the second innings before we get to uh, what uh, Ashutosh and Shashank did. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm t- and this is, this is what now get now uh, for big basket. Go on, Charlie. Do what you need to do. Break, break that, break, break I'm calling. I'm calling this Heinrich's maneuver. Nice. Right, so we all understand Heinrich Klassen to be one of the uh, like a, a very modern T Twenty style keeper. He's not like a first class guy that like uh, is a keeper first and then has learned how to bat around it. He's very much in the mold of like he does his job with the bat and he can also hold the gloves if he needs to. Mm-hmm. Now, um, I can go on Twitter, I can go all over the internet, and I can literally get this footage up from any handle, including the IPL handle. Well, the IBL handle, they would own the rights to it, but anyone yeah. else is allowed oh, to do it. Oh, I see. Anyone else is allowed to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Satan, Scent of a Woman 10, you yep. name it. Yep. Uh, everyone's got this footage up. Yeah. TJC won't do that because we respect yeah. rights holders. So here's just a picture yeah. of what he's done here. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's stumped Shikha Darwin. Now, just for background here, this was off the bowlings. It's up to the stumps. It's off the bowling of Bhuvneshwar Kumar, who, yep. according to the radar, has clocked this delivery at 140 Kilometers an hour. That is an up to the stumps, mm. stumping whipage deluxe yeah. from 140 k's an hour. And when you see it in the flesh, which you won't see it here for rights reasons, uh, it is it's clean. It's beautiful. The hands are unbelievable. Um, it's a bad result for Bhuvneshwar Kumar, I have to say, yeah. because uh, ordinary. Okay, sure. Mathematically, it's 140 k's an hour. Yeah. But um, we we do have a question that came in. Yep. Uh, here, and I think this sort of explains it perfectly. This is from uh, Call Me May or Call Me Maybe. Um, nice. Uh, boys, you said once that having the keeper stand up at the stumps for a fast bowler immediately desexes second bowler. Is that mm. uh, what, what, what dogs go through? But mm-hmm. uh, what does that say about Shikha Darwin who got stumped off of Boovie K's bowling in today's game? Here's the thing, Pezza, mm. because um, literally Shikha Darwin has brought out a medieval glove, also known as a gauntlet, and he yes. has laid it down yes. to the wicketkeeper and the bowler said, yeah. okay, if you're going to stand up, I know that you can't catch. Yeah. I've basically shirt fronted you uh, in the same way that Putin would a horse. And he's certainly yes. saying, I know that you're not good enough to execute this skill. And yeah. yet, so I'm going to run down the wicket to this, where otherwise he would not run down the wicket to Boovie K. It's insulting to both. I'm wa- yeah. Boovie K, the, ga- the radar says you're bowling at 140s. So I'm mm. going to walk at you. Yeah. One. <laughs> Heinrich Klassen, you're yeah. behind the stumps mm. and you're able to stump me. Mm-hmm. And I'm still going to walk at Boovie yeah. K because I don't think you can catch. And, and also your lid's all over your face. It doesn't fit don't anywhere. Don't do it again. <laughs> Body like a slug. <laughs> the aesthetics are everywhere. <laughs> Good anyway, luck. Good anyway, luck. he was so, out. Anyway, but and Boovie K D sex. Pack him. Uh, so wonderful stumping Heinrich Klaassen. Let's move to the third thing. Um, this is look, Sunrises are ahead of the game. Third thing is Ashtosh and Shishang. Sunrise is well ahead of the game. Almost uh, you'd say Punjab are, are out of the game. It's a slow, it's a slow power play. When Sekunda Raz is out 13 overs, so seven overs left, mm. and they were five for ninety one. Yeah. So needing it's 80 uh, heaps. It's not like no, 90. We're gonna, and we're gonna talk about comes to the best in a second. Yeah. But uh, Ashtosh and Shishank almost pull off an incredible mm-hmm. heist. You're like, oh, I think about incredible heists. You know, maybe there's something in the moon. Maybe, maybe it's a, you know, maybe it's a meteorological um, kind of phenomenon because on this date last year, someone else pulled off an incredible heist. Uh, Charlie, I think, this oh. is, again, again, I wouldn't show footage of this. Happy April 9th. Happy April 9th. This time uh-huh. last year, Rinku Singh hit five sixes and that is the main thing that happened. Uh, yep. But he won that game. Yeah. He won that game. 
and um, no bets were placed on this game. <laughs> but um, Shashanka, he's, he's 61 from 29 at last start, mm-hmm. uh, 46 red from 25 here. Um, Punjab thrilled with uh, the best case of mistaken identity ever. Um, Punjab dead, buried, um, but like the cola borehole in Russia, Taking the words right out of your mouth, yep. they took it deep. They took it deep. They took it deep. Yes. The deepest excavation known to man. Only nine inches wide. Right, okay. But, uh, but it was real, straight down. Real deep. Straight yeah, down. Real, real deep. I couldn't mm. tell you how long. 12,000 feet. Arch deep. Yeah. In, in A-R-S-H. That's yeah. correct. Okay. Um, particularly large overs from T. Natarajan and uh, then Unad Kat. Now, Unad Kat earlier on takes a wicket here, Charlie, as well. This is his uh, reaction. I think someone was trying to lap sweep him or something. <laughs> The most, it's the most vacant stare. It's like, like that, that is that is into the middle distance if I've ever seen it. You yeah. know, like, what, like maybe you knew what was to come. I, I like that celebration. I really do. That's There's still awesome. 40, 49 games left. Of the I mean, that's out. better than Rashford. You know, like like that. That's yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. the way it should be done for yeah, me. Ronaldo I like it. stuff. Um, and uh, and yeah, in this last over, as you mentioned earlier, Unad Kat is trying to close it out, defending twenty nine, mm-hmm. and three of his uh, well, uh, two of his mates tip it over the bar. Yeah. Um, earlier on in the game, Harshal Patel tips it over uh, the bar. The for last Punjab. ball, last the last ball, ball the first innings. Yeah. Yep. Simon Kaddish says, like you know, well, no one means to drop him. Now that is probably true over the history of time in cricket, but there have been some exceptions. Mm, has been, yeah. I'm not <laughs> suggesting anything in this game. I check, yeah. truly am not. But uh, well, as you know, you I dropped one deliberately in the under tens uh, because the guy that was going to come in next, he was already retired. And so the guy that uh, the guy that I dropped deliberately was number eleven. Had had I caught the catch, yes. then the retired batter, who was a good player, would yeah. have come back in to win the game for the so opposition. You deliberately so dropped the catch. I deliberately dropped the catch. How old were you? Ten, I think. The, the composure and game awareness from you there is yeah. something like I, I'm still in great admiration of. I got in massive trouble from my yeah. mum in the car yeah. afterwards. Like that, she was saying, like, yeah, the opposition talking about going to the judiciary. I don't even know what that word meant. I was yeah. nine, and you had to go, didn't you? You had to get the old bag of fruit on, and <laughs> <laughs> there was paparazzi outside. That's right. the, but that's the problem. Press pack. You had a lawyer at the time because of the area you grew up in. There was actually five of them knocking on the door. Um, <laughs> And this is and, right. and if you hadn't had yeah. those lawyers, yeah. perhaps you would have made it because you would have had, had to the defend hardship. yourself and gone through the hardship of the uh, I would have gone through a juvie. That's right. I had to go yeah. through juvenile detention, yeah. et cetera. But anyway, yeah. we digress. Yeah. Um, and ultimately, yeah, Sunrise's win. Uh, so, yeah, um, I just want, just want to remark on um, – our boy, Pat Cummins, mm-hmm. as the third thing. Another he, Australian he goes, doing well Another in the Australian IPL. doing well. Uh, yep. He takes a great catch. Yep. He knocks over Johnny. Um, he he bowls. He talks the bowls through like a tough late period. Mm-hmm. He stewards Sunrise's narrowest ever win uh-huh. as well. Um, by the way, Sunrise's great uh, record against yeah. Punjab Kings. I think best ever against uh, like 70% Punjab, win rate. Yeah. And Something like that. It is mid-table mediocrity writ large yeah. uh, from, yeah. from all, yeah. all parties. If you're going to beat a team consistently, it is a good chance it's going to be Punjab, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cummins um, one for 22 or four overs. Yeah, uh, mm. in, in, in a 180 plus 180 game. You know, in the, uh, do you have the table, Charlie? I always do this to you, but if mm. you have the table up there, it's um, it, it's a lot of teams beating everyone and like even Delhi is still in it. That's, yeah. that, that's how close it is uh, at the moment. Uh, and uh, Rajasthan's the only team that's that's been perfect so far. But um, I, I'm looking at... Um, no one's really hit the ground running in the t- like, especially Mumbai and I would say CSK. They've won three mm. games, but they've mm. also lost their two away games. So like, no one's really sort of got that like clear cut four like top four written all over mm. them just mm. yet. I reckon Sunrisers, who I would not have yeah. had before this year, but yeah. I, because they just had so many overseas, and I was like, okay, what about the Indian players though, who really carry you through a tournament? I'm looking at that team now. I'm like, there, there are so many match winners that I, I think that they are likely to finish in the in the in the playoffs. They're, they're, they're much better than they used to be. So much like better in the last couple of years. Mm. There's more about them. Mm. Uh, and you're right. Look, I just want to talk about Cummins, and this is going to upset. Um, Indian fans, but uh, Pat Cummins has treated T20 cricket like a side hustle for the last 10 years. <laughs> uh, That's right. And it's it's really well known that um, if there is a trophy on display or mm. a trophy to be competed yes. for, Pat Cummins will start focusing his attention on that particular yep. thing. So you have the World Test Championship mm-hmm. a couple of years ago. That's when his test bowling has really kicked off. And then mm. there was, a, there was a, something happened November 19 last year. Yep. So he really sort of started to, to uh, get into his work, as yep. we say here in Australia, really yep. fall into his work. Yep. And um, there's a T20 World Cup coming up and all of a sudden, and Cummins can bowl in T20 yeah. cricket, and it's you just you're driving off cutters into the deck there. Hard test match lengths, no one can get him away. The decks like are like that in the Caribbean. Uh, 
I'm just, I'm just saying, like, uh, yeah, and, and and him being the leader of a team that so far all the guys that are playing in the IPL, uh, they're all doing about the same thing. Glenn Maxwell, I don't think, has got about five in the tournament so yeah. far. But it's like, oh, that's all good. Just save him, save him for he, the granny goal. Sa- yeah, like he's just saving, he's just saving his runs. A couple of guys are saving yeah. their runs. I mean, look. I don't think many people know this, but Cummins isn't the captain of the T20 team. Mitch Marsh is. He's mm. um, just been dropped by Delhi, so mm. um, he's obviously saving a lot of runs. <laughs> <laughs> That's and right. captaincy. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I'm just saying, like, um, it's like for me heading into this tournament, one of the things you could say is like, uh, if you considered yourself a cricket hip- hipster, which I don't, it's like Cummins great brand, but um, the yeah. T20 stuff has never really like mm. uh, <laughs> taken off. Mm. And now <laughs> he's bowling miserly spells. He's worked it out. He's yeah. skippering sunrises to something better than yeah. what they were. Just saying, Cummins just starting to focus on that little T20 stuff. And yeah. I'm sorry, India, but he's the, he's literally won the IPL before with KKR. But I, mm. I think he's just realised that there is a trophy, and he's like, oh, is there a trophy? Oh, okay, yeah. well, I'll, I'll play, I'll play, I'll play, and I'll win it. Um, okay, hashtag AskTGC. I mentioned this if anyone uh, was following the comments yesterday. Um, so this is from Darnby76. Boys, this is based on the show yesterday, way to take false information and trying to be funny with it. Dhoni hasn't been interviewed since last year, and that was Rudaraj talking about Mitchell coming in to take the pressure situation, not Dhoni. Get your facts right, boys. Indeed, I'd like to issue... And by the way, a lot of people sometimes write in and like attribute um, mistakes to both of us, but this is solely on me. It's nothing to do with you. He goes, you probably um, were, you know, literate. Unlike so it's good, I, it's good, I was. It's good timing, actually, because mm. like uh, the, the ticker is like matched up perfectly to this part of the show. It's well, actually, it's actually exactly. got your... <laughs> well, I, 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 am, I am issuing an apology and a clarification. Um, you know, thanks to those who pointed out my misattribution of, uh, of that quote. I said that MS Dhoni uh, thought that someone young needed to, to be protected, but it was actually Ruder. Uh, Guy Quad, who said that there's no humor in um, misattributing words to somebody else. Uh, that I, I, I misread a match report. Simple as that. Dumb, stupid, clip this up. Um, I actually believe, though, it was Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London, who said that. Um, and Kevin <laughs> Peterson went on Twitter last night to thank him for that, whilst Indeed. also acknowledging he wasn't allowed to wear a watch and he had to wear a plastic ring instead of his wedding ring. So that is something that did happen. Um, Anyway, I apologise unreservedly for that. That was an error. Um, I would never want to attribute words um, someone didn't say uh, to them, in particular MSD. Um, so on to the next hashtag, Ask TGC. This is from Digital North. You fellas look mildly educated individuals. May I inquire about a certain medical procedure which can turn me into an old school motorcycle so Tala can ride me like I was meant to be? I would suggest a lobotomy. Uh, where they drill into your brain. Very popular, uh, I want to say, in the uh, sort of 40s, 50s um, in Western medicine um, to cure yeah. uh, women having thoughts. Well, d- digital... <laughs> digital... Digital <laughs> North. He's talking about... A, when, he's, when he... Or she, sorry. He's talking about a uh, certain medical procedure. Is, is, there, there, is there a procedure, like, in particular? Obviously, there's no medical procedure that turns you into an old motorbike, but I'm wondering if there's a reference, like a pogo stick or something. Oh, like being desexed? Like like Shika Darwin was? Oh, but, but, but that make you an old motorbike. You know, I don't know if I'm missing something there. What, what, what's, it, like, what's an old motorbike? It's just a bike, isn't it? Uh, I suppose so. Yeah. Yeah. Bike or a pogo stick. Um, any penny farthing? A penny farthing, if you will. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, doctors, get in touch if there's any medical uh, you know, procedures available. Mm-hmm. Um, so Digital North can be like an old school motorcycle that Tala can ride. Well, that was fifth versus six in the IPL in the 23rd game of the 2024 oh, yeah. season. That's right. There's so much more to come. We're going to be back tomorrow morning reviewing tonight's game. So click subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, as always, for joining and supporting TGC. And we'll see you guys on the internet real soon. Cheers.